Minute Maid Park in Houston. We got baseball on the show. It's the Detroit Tigers taking on the Houston Astros. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here, and today's starting pitcher is in effect, and he sets it up so nice. about him you get into the later innings of the ball game and the velocity seems to go up and here's the rookie center fielder Parker Meadows no one, no outside low and we're underway here this afternoon first pitch four o'clock the next oh. offering misses and now two and oh Right through there for a strike. On down. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big. Try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevate it because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. And when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. And he deals. On the ground, right side. Throws to first in John. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. A nice job of the pitcher. Ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Spent Torkel. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And a good out of there. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. There's a swing and a miss. Good late sink. Two down, nobody on. Full count. Kerry Carpenter up next. Kicks and fires. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. And that's ball. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have to be very aggressive secondary. The ball down the line or into the gap. That is it. Been pretty well out towards left center. Makes the grab after a long run. And that's the foul. No runs, no base hit. are going and how things are working but if he can control four or either five of those offerings able to keep those guys off balance we go to the bottom of the first now it's the second base Altuve he's a guy that covers both sides of the man they have 
have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. The inside edge, and now two and one. The winding. Runner at first, and now it's Alex Bregman. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And that one is... That is third, the designated hitter. Now we check out the Astros lineup. If they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they don't have to build in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. Nothing into Houston first. We played an inning from Minute Maid Park. Scoreless on the show. So coming into the game now on defense, Greg Kessinger. He'll play second. Number 16. Scoring position, no outs. Here's Mark Canna. Man at second, nobody. Certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. And a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits in today. Hitters are hitting multiple pitchers every night and we're challenging just to come up with a single. Swing and a miss struck him out. through there for a strike. Action in the pen One down left. there. Parker Mashinsky, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Montero also getting ready. Man at second. Their ball. No score here in the second. Next pitch downstairs. And now three balls and a strike. Gio Urshela waiting to hit for Detroit. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. Side and that is ball four. Two on, one out. Gio Urshela to the plate.
eyes on the double ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swings and misses. 0 oh and 2. Oh, Eric Summerskill with home plate. Generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. one. Ball. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. This one in the dirt. Nothing happening on the bases, though. With the go-ahead run standing at second. Here at the top of the second. That's down and in. Way to lay off that pitch down. Javier Baez in the on-deck circle. And a swing and a miss. And two away now. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a goal. So first and second with two outs. The batter now, Javier Baez. In Whoa, the dirt. And that is ball one. Carpenter at second. Keith on at first with two down. Next pitch in for a strike, and a count one and one. Hard hit left side. They take the force out. Third out. Two left on. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Here in Houston, here's the veteran first baseman, Jose Abreu. The pitch. That one finds the zone. 0-1. One, one. Bounced out to short. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Substitution now at second base. Pinch running here. Mauricio Dubon. Potential winning run, so they're hoping he can score. Right. Hit. The right First and second. No outs. Here's Kyle Tucker. It's a good spot to be in. After you. What he wants to do is nibble, load up the bases, and then walk in the winning run or throw it to the backstop and bring in that winning run. With the winning run standing at second. Bottom half of inning number two. And that's off the inside edge. One and one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Tigers bullpen with some action. Shelby Miller up and throwing. Chafin, the lefty, warming up as well. At the belt and fires. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing that more cool. fastballs in that good location. Good. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the field here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. There's a strike. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. And now the lefty, double steal. Deerland goes to safe, safe there. And next to hit for Houston, Chaz McCormick. Golden no opportunity here. right the top of the zone for a strike. Tough situation right here. So important as
as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. Double play ball to second. Comes home with it for one. At first, it's a fielder's choice. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. So much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. This team is celebrating, and this win is well deserved. One nothing the final for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.